What will Neo stock be worth in December? This week is almost coming to an end, but there is just so much exciting activity in Neo right now to talk about. They just announced some very cool news that they will now restart their level 4 autopilot development. At the same time, we're seeing interesting options activity with tons of people buying call options, betting on NEO reaching some very high levels next month. There are also a record number of people shorting NEO stock right now, trying to push down its share price while at the same time opening up the potential for a massive short squeeze, which can lead to even higher share prices in the future. Let's talk about all this and also what buying strategy I have for NEO right now, so stay tuned. If you are new here, my name is Sam and welcome to the channel. If you find this video valuable, I would appreciate it a lot if you press that like button, it just helps out my channel so much. Also subscribe if you want to see more NEO and other stock updates and predictions. We're growing faster than ever and I would love to have you on the journey with me. Now let's get back to NEO. So let's start off with looking at the stock chart for NEO. I feel like I just say this every week, but again it seems like we will end up with a positive week. Meaning, if you would have bought NEO stock on Monday, you would have made money on Friday. The growth this company has seen really reminds me of Tesla. It is very rare to have an uptrend that is this consistent and it is just astonishing to think that NEO was almost at $2 a share like 9 months ago. That's a 2500% increase and I really believe it has a lot more to go. And just this last week we saw another nice run up. We went above $50 a share price on Monday and have managed to stay there this entire week. Just an unthinkable share price weeks earlier, yet here we are. And I believe we can create a nice support level around those levels in the same way the $45 range acted as support weeks ago. And as long as NEO can keep up their great reports and keep meeting their crazy projections, it wouldn't really surprise me to see this getting even closer to Tesla in the future. These guys are really not comparable to regular car companies, and just like Tesla and the new wave of electric vehicle companies in general, NEO is more of a tech company. They are making some great technology that has the potential to revolutionize cars as we know them and create a greener world at the same time. And that brings us to this new technology, and the news we got just today. And the announcement that NEO has restarted the development of their own level 4 autopilot technology and that they are now currently in the team building and data acquisition phase. So for those of you who don't know what this is, it's a level of autopilot where the cars no longer require human interaction in most circumstances, which means that the cars are basically self-driving. And right now, only Tesla is NEO's main competitor when it comes to autopilot, and they are both around the level 2. Although NEO's autopilot is arguably on a bit of a higher level in my opinion, even at the moment, since their vehicles can make and execute autonomous decisions and execute vehicle lane changes, merging, entering and exiting highways without the need for an actual driver. But still guys, if NEO manages to reach level 4 of autopilot, that would be just massive for the company, taking them leaps and bounds above their competitors. NEO has been working on autopilot since 2015, but they had to lay off people in their automated driving team in 2019 due to not having enough money for it. But now in 2020 they have a good $3.3 billion in cash and cash equivalents to invest in their autopilot technology. And earlier reports indicate that NEO is planning to develop its own automated computing chip. NEO has set up a separate hardware team, internally called the Smart HW hardware, to push forward the development of its own chip. And people, that's really the reason for why I think this company still has a long way to go. Just constant innovation to be on the absolute cutting edge of technology when it comes to cars. And that takes us to the price predictions people have for NEO. Now, in the long term, I can easily see a $100 share price in 2021, and even beyond, but the shorter term price targets are much more dependent on NEO's short term performance and announcements, and honestly just pure luck in general. But there is this thing called the option market, where people are betting on what values NEO will have a week from now, two weeks from now, three weeks from now, and so on, and currently, at this moment in time, there are 105,000 active call options, meaning options that are betting on NEO going up and only 71,000 put options that expire next Friday. So there's a clear bullish sentiment even in this market. And guess what? 
dirt 11,000 call options betting on NEO hitting $60 and another 10,700 options predicting a $55 share price. These are the most popular call options right now, so clearly the market is also incredibly bullish on NEO in the short term, even after this crazy run up we had this week and last week and pretty much all weeks before that. Now personally, I think going up another 20% next week is a bit too optimistic, but still we can learn from this to understand the broader market sentiment. But at the same time though, NEO is also a very shorted stock meaning tons of people have borrowed the stock and sold it with the hopes of buying it back at a lower share price to make some good money. Obviously something I disagree with since I just can't see NEO going down so much in the long term, but regardless this historical high levels of shorting increases the potential for a massive short squeeze in this stock. This happens when NEO shares start going up, which they have for the past couple of weeks and months even thus forcing these short sellers to cover their short interest positions by buying actual shares of NEO, which in turn drives up the price of this stock even further. So personally, I'm very excited to see this and I think a short squeeze is quite likely since NEO is just on a crazy run up right now and since obviously I'm bullish on the stock. Right now, I'm just buying a couple of shares every week, even with these current price sets, since I believe there is just such a great potential for NEO going even above $150 a share in the coming years. But at this moment, I already have such a large position that I try to diversify and buy into other companies as well. It is very important to not have all your eggs in one basket. No matter how good NEO is, it's always nice to be diversified and just spread your risk. And if you want to get into NEO, you will need to be in it for the long term and just stay cool when the stock dips down. And as I always say, make sure to be diversified and to own a bunch of different stock in your portfolio. And to do your own research before you actually decide to buy NEO stock. Since I'm not some financial advisor. And with that, I want to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a like to help us reach out to more people about NEO and just the case for this company. A simple thing as just pressing that thumbs up button really does help. Also subscribe if you want to see more similar content and I will make sure to provide these updates for you. We just broke 4000 subscribers and if you watched all the way to this point and if you enjoyed the content of course that's really important, why not subscribe and just join us in the journey to hit 10,000 investors by the end of this year. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.